Hello, Manlets. Today, I'm going to show you how to analyze Solana data without knowing any programming, coding, or even SQL. And it's actually quite easy. Basically, all you need is going to be some Zins, perhaps a Red Bull, and the English language. So let's first go to Dune and see what we have available. So we're going to create a query, dune.com. We can create either a query or a dashboard or do a bunch of other things, but we'll just keep it simple. So we'll go to query. And then we have this UI that comes up. And basically here is where you would enter your SQL. And then here's kind of where you can search uh, the data sets or the contract addresses that you may um, be interested in. And so for this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type Solana here. Okay. And so when you type Solana on here, you see a bunch of results like transactions, account activity, blocks, etc. If you're not familiar with what SQL is, you can basically, so these are called tables, but you can basically just think of them as very large Excel spreadsheets. So for example, imagine there's a very large Excel spreadsheet called transactions and inside it, you have a bunch of columns that show you the structure of that data. So for example, if I go to preview a table here, you can kind of just imagine this as an Excel spreadsheet, right? Um, for each transaction, we have the slot, the, um, the fee that it paid, it's block hash, ID signature, if it succeeded or not, and a bunch of other kind of interesting pieces of data that might be useful for gaining insights. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go look at the blocks table and we can kind of see by clicking preview what the blocks table structure is. And what we're going to do, quite simple, we're just going to press this little uh, sideways looking Citroen icon. If you're European, you know what that car is. And then, so now we have salon.blocks and that's going to be the name of the table. From here, what I like doing is you just want to say, describe Solana.blocks, right? So just describe the table name. And what this does is it gives you the structure of the columns or and the types of those columns. So for example, we know that we're gonna have a slot column, a height column, a hash column, and we'll understand if they're a date, a number, a bunch of words, so a string, etc. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and copy this okay so we're going to go ahead and copy this and then we're going to go to claude and then with claude we're going to say hello sir i have run describe solana.blocks on dune and got the following output given the structure of this table i would like to write a query for showing the non-voting VPS for Solana in the past year. Please generate it. Thanks, XOXO. All right, so it has already outputted an answer, a SQL query for us, where it seems like it is doing an aggregation by the daily metrics. It actually tells you what it's doing, right? So aggregate daily metrics, count both successful and failed, divide by the number of seconds in a day, do all this stuff, and then you can kind of keep conversing with it. This is actually not the best query in my view, but we're just gonna go ahead and copy it anyways and see what we have to work with here. By the way, you can basically run on a free query engine, a medium query engine, or a large one. I'm just going to use a medium one for now because I'm broke because all my money is in H soul. All right. So when we try to run this, we're going to get an error. Again, we don't know what programming is or what SQL is. So we're just going to press the magical AI button, which Dune also has. And we're just going to say fix it. Okay. And then once it fixes it, basically it does this thing where it's planning for a little bit. And then the query itself might take a few minutes sometimes seconds, minutes, generally, most of them will take around a few minutes. We have results here. So 
we have the average non-vote TPS for the past day. Obviously, it is for today. It's not the day is not over yet, and so the non-vote TPS is pretty low. But so yesterday we see that it would have been 846, 930. And kind of just keep going this way. And so there you go. You actually already just got a good way to understand what's happening. You can start to do things like, you know, making this into a chart. Right. So maybe you want to make this into a line chart and you can kind of go ahead and see what the TPS would be. And then you can obviously kind of keep going back and forth with it. Right. So you can say something like, what are some shortcomings with your query? Right. So you can do something like this and it'll kind of tell you a bunch of shortcomings that you can kind of interrogate out of it, basically, which is generally pretty helpful. And then it'll go ahead and try to fix them. But the flow is going to be pretty simple here. Basically, what I would suggest is one, try to understand SQL. It is not a difficult language to at least start with. It becomes more difficult as you have to keep doing some advanced voodoo magic. But it's actually generally in English. So, you know, you can, if you just look at this query here, it says, you can kind of just read it out loud in, in language, right? With daily metrics, select date, and then the sum of successful non vote transactions plus failed non vote transactions, and then rename it to something else from Solana blocks, and then where the date is greater than or equal to this value, and then group by date. So it's actually not too difficult. And this is basically all you need to get started. So there we go. Thank you